Hey guys, so you're lazy like me, you want to just mulch the leaves in instead of blowing them off or taking them out or whatever, uh, but you're afraid because some people will say it's, it's a terrible idea. Well, it's because a lot of people make a mistake of starting way too late. So if you want to do this method, you want to start now once you start seeing leaves. The first reason is um, because they're there. I mean, there's a lot of people that'll look out and say, okay, the grass, I mean, I, I don't have to mow right now. Uh, it's not too long. I could leave them all there. Um, so yeah, you could just let them pile up and, you know, I got the Honda. It can handle mulching, you know, six inches of leaves and you can mulch that down into, you know, confetti sized uh, particles and that's fine and great. Um, but you don't want to do that for a few reasons. The one reason is uh, the way the leaves break down is all the microbial action in the soil. And so if you're doing it every single week, that's continually feeding those microbes and they're building up. And then once more leaves fall down, there's more food. So they actually process the leaves faster. And so if you do this weekly, you'll start to notice, hey, I don't even see any of the little pieces the next week. It's because it's starting to break it down. If you wait until the end of the season, you're essentially doing like four weeks of leaves all at once. And what ends up happening is you can smother the grass or if you do it way too late and you know it, a cold snap hits, then you've got all these chunks of leaves that are in the grass that aren't gonna break down. And then in the springtime, you're like, my grass is so thin, it's all smothered. Um, and so you don't wanna wait. You wanna start just basically, what I do is weekly, no matter what, whether the grass is grown or not, if there are leaves, I mulch mow. And then if it starts to get like the really big piles, you know, once the, the trees are basically bare and all the leaves fall, then you wanna be uh, making sure that you break them down into like pinky size pieces. Um, so you might have to go over it twice or you might wanna do it twice a week. But the key is you wanna you want keep up with it so it doesn't look like a huge mess. Um, and another thing you also, um, you don't wanna, mow too short you also don't want to mow too high i i like you know around two and a half three inch mark by the time i'm at the end of the season um, because that gives enough um blades of grass the the length it needs to keep the sunlight going and all that and also gives room for the uh broken leaves to mulch in and it just seems to work better that way um, but you don't want to wait till the end of season just do a huge pile. So I also recommend, um, now I'm not gonna do it today because there's really not much, but like around the edges, you know, where you get all the kids' toys that are collecting the leaves, um, every other week maybe, blow them onto the lawn and mulch them. Don't wait till the leaves have all fallen down and then blow them on and mulch them because then that's too much at once. Um, and this is, this is how you can mulch it and be a lot um, better for your lawn and have a better success rate. Um, so if this is all scaring you, don't worry about it. It's not that difficult. You just gotta remember, I, I just like to say, mulch mow weekly and you should be good to go. Um, it's the, the times when people leave them and they stop mowing because they think, oh, well now there's leaves. I don't wanna blow off the leaves. I don't wanna bag the leaves. So I'm gonna wait until the end of the season and mulch them in. That's not good for your lawn. So there you go. Let's get the mower out. Oh, so uh, today I'm mowing in the backyard with the Honda, set to mulch mow uh, at 3.5 inches. Um, sim simple reason is the front's at 3.5, the back I'm just going to do a 3.5 because, you know, I don't want to keep switching every time and have to think which ones are what. Um, the side yard, I'm trying to lower it so I can still use the Swordman because I, I miss the real action. But with the leaves, I got to mulch them in, so let's get it out. All right, so hopefully on camera, ooh, the stripes are looking pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, um, you can see, now there's still leaves. So if this was the end of the season, I would go over it again and again until this is broken down into little pieces like this. Um, but since I'm gonna be mowing it every week, there's still like a crazy ton that are gonna drop, then I'm not too concerned right now about it being perfect. I mean, 
Look at what the kids did with their play mat. I mean, <laughs> I'm really not concerned with the backyard being perfect. I'm trying, but you all work with kids, so you kind of deal with it. Um, ooh, flowers. Anyways, so what you're doing is each week you're just doing that. Now, as it starts to fill up more, if it starts to like look terrible, you could do a double cut or double mulch cut, whatnot. Um, but the key is to keep up with it and not to just go, well, the grass doesn't need to be mowed because you're, you're mulching the leaves in. Now, if you're gonna be bagging it, then it doesn't matter that much because um, you're gonna be doing the mess of blowing in and bagging in and all that stuff anyways. Um, but don't skip that step in the fall because if you wait till springtime, it, all those leaves will mat down on the grass and it will kill a lot of grass. You don't want that. So, in a little ADHD moment. Check out the bees. You know, when people tell me I'm killing the clover and the bees don't have food, well, where's, where's the clover now? Where's the, uh, you know, I got some patches of clover. There's no flowers left. But we got plenty of flowers for these bees to be chewing on and I don't have to step on them and get stung. And then this guy, oh, my wife will probably be embarrassed that I'm showing this off, but they still got nice blooms. It just, we've had a rough year with a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So they're, they're not properly, like they're, they're bending over, snapping and stuff, but we still got some nice flowers in here and the bees are still enjoying them so you can be nice to the bees without having to step on bees in your yard um, so I personally like to get rid of the clover and she's got enough flowers to keep them busy and those blueberry bushes um, it, the bees love those after uh, when we stop picking them basically they like to go in and get the juices from the uh, blueberries and it's pretty neat oh and check out this rose yeah, there's no lawn stuff, but, uh, you know, some people like to see the flowers. Look at this. Oh, yeah, see the clover? I gotta kill that. Ignore the clover. What? Pretty cool. So the idea here is to have the rose bush climb over here, and then we're gonna keep training it to go around. And what's nice is I can still open and close it, and so it eventually will be rose flowers across that but you know and then those are all raspberry bushes well except for the roses there and there but those are all raspberry bushes all right i appreciate you guys watching my videos if you liked it please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe comment all that fun stuff it's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos and uh, be sure to check out the ones below have a great day bye